젊은 것보다는 음, 머릿속에 있는 정보랑 새로운 정보들 그리고 내가 알고 있는 정보가 맞는지도 한번 확인도 하고 Uh, what he was he? What is he thinking about when looking at his reference collection? Uh, he's not really memorizing. It's not to memorize the forms while looking at the references. He what he does inside his head is that he would compare all the knowledge and the references that he has in head, and he is seeing. He would compare the two of it. He would compare the two, and then he would also try to find out if he. Has some errors inside his head. If he has something, if he has this reference inside his head, which is not fact. 그래서 내가 지금 알고 있는 게 정확한 가도 한번 보고, 그다음에 이제 거기 보면서 아 이런 느낌들 괜찮네. 오늘 이런 거 한번 그려볼까. 이런 것들도 차 소재도 찾기도 하고. And it's a source of his his inspiration. He would look around. Look at his references, and he would get this idea suddenly. Uh, if he likes something, he would say to himself, uh, "Today, I will try to draw something related to this subject." So sometimes it works as a uh, inspiration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Jongi is saying that when we draw, Kajang, Munjo, Bolsoke, Sinka Hagejo, with the Bolgri at the Jill, Kuja Usanan. He now, uh, the most important thing, Jongi will decide what he wants to draw. So, a cameraman is a girl. Yeah. The cameraman is saying hello. He is someone uh, who is destined to be great. So, 그러면은 뭘 그릴 것인가를 우선은 자 생각을 좀 합니다. The first of all, the first thing that Jongi would think is that he would um, he, he would think about the thing that he will draw, what he would draw. 그죠? 자 내가 오늘 봤던 것들 아니면은 영화 봤던 것들 아니면은 최근에 내가 겪었던 일들 아니면 누가 들었던 이야기들 And how Jongi will choose what he wants to draw he would um he would think about all the things that he saw today or he saw in a movie or the images that he is imagining by the story that he heard 그런 것들을 쭉 한번 머릿속으로 한번 쫙 생각을 한번 해봐요. So he would browse all these things that he saw or listened to inside his head. 그런 다음에 아 괜찮은 아이디어가 생각나면 그걸 이제 구체화 시키는 거예요. And when he finally finds something interesting inside his head, he would materialize. The thing, the subject that he is thinking inside his head, he would visualize it. 그죠? 그러면서 이제 보통은 이제 그렇게 한 다음에 보통 작가님들은 그렇게 한 다음에 이제 자료를 찾죠. And normally the artist, after having, um, after, after choosing what he would like to draw, after visualizing the image briefly inside their head, uh, the normal artist would search for the references. 근데 저 같은 경우에는 찾을 때도 있지만은 거의 머릿속에 있는 편이에요. But Jongi, uh, for Jongi, uh, most of the time, the references is already inside his head. There are moments when he has to search for references, but normally it's all inside his head. 자, 이게 이해가 안 되는 대목이죠, 그죠? And and that's the part where people don't understand. 네, 그래서. 아, 이 부분 설명하기가 참 거시기한데. And that's why, um, because it's normal for Jongi to have all the references inside his head, so that's why he have this, he has this hard time explaining it properly. 자, 포즈 우리 포즈만 생각해봐도 내가 어떤 포즈를 그려야 되겠다 하면 머릿속에 떠올라요, 안 떠올라요? Let's make it simple. Jongi is saying, 
um, imagine that you are going to draw this person in a certain pose. Can you already see the pose inside your head? 만약 지금 제가 그리고 있는 이런 내가 평상 때 맨날 앉아 있는 포즈라든지 아니면 내가 평소 때 있는 공간이라든지 이런 거는 그릴 수 있어요, 안 그릴 수 있어요. Um, he is asking if you guys, um, if it's possible for you guys to draw a person sitting down inside your room. Would that be possible for you guys to draw without any references? <laughs> he says, if you guys cannot think, if you, ca if you guys cannot visualize that pose, you need to be able to do that first. 그죠? 그게 머릿속에 3D화 돼야 돼요. 구체화 돼 있어야 돼요. Um, the pose that you want to draw, um, the surroundings that you want to add around that person you're going to draw has to be in, has to be concrete inside your head. 그러면은 그 다음에 머릿속에 구체화 된다는 거는 이제 어느 정도 이제 안 보고 그릴 수 있는 요소의 한 60% 이상 다가간 거야. And when you can visualize a pose를 그릴 때요, 간단한 포즈. 아니 아니 뭐 그러니까 머릿속으로 내가 그릴 포즈를 머릿속으로 3D화 할수 있으면은 so 안 보고 그리는 거에 거의 한 60%는 도달하게 돼. So if you are able to visualize the pose that you are going to draw, that means you have reached 60% of the of the level where you can you will be able to draw without any references. 